Hey there, YouTube. This is me again. <clears throat> this is another installment of the Quarantine Diaries. And I am sad to say I lost a fish. Um, if you guys have been watching and keeping, you know, oh, sorry about that. If you guys have been watching and following along, you know, I bought two uh, fancy goldfish a couple weeks back. Um, and we're quarantining them. I bought them both at the same time from a local fish store. They were in the same water system, different tanks, but I believe the same water system. And, um... Yeah, I purchased them both, quarantined them together in my 10 gallon, my empty 10 gallon. And I started with the Aquarium Co-op Med Trio, followed the instructions for that for one week. And then um, during that process, the Calico Fantail that I had, which was about half the size of this one, just seemed to be really struggling. And then I could see some fungal growth on the side of her body and back of her anal fins. And it just wasn't good. You know, I could see it progressively getting worse, even with medications dosed in the water. Um, so, but you know, I know that, you know, it's not good to stop early and it was probably just in my mind, you know, just a bad case of it and it would get worse before it got better, that sort of thing. So I kept going. Um, then once the uh, med trio dose was over with, I did again, as Aquarium Co-op would suggest, the Marison and Ikex dosing for five days um, each day um, for 10 gallons. And yeah, did that for five days. And it seemed at first like there was, you know, some behavioral changes that were like making me excited and thinking that there was just, you know, an improvement. I was seeing, you know, more more activity i guess from the calico you would say but then slowly you know she started back with that whole nose down bob situation that she was doing and would um like start like clamping her fins down you know things like that not really interested so much in eating but the bacteria or the fungus or whatnot on the side of her body just kind of sat there you know it just didn't really it started to shed a little bit once um that second round of meds was over i had just done like you know the water change and put aquarium salt in the tank and was just gonna go go about my business and do that and you know let that be it and just work with the salt and see if that could help um, I honestly wish I would have probably started with the salt now, but I came in to do a water change for that. They've only been on the aquarium salt since, uh, Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday was when I did that. And then it just looked like it, it looked like the bacteria or the fungal part was like shedding or like peeling off the body, but... I don't know, like the swimming was weird and she wouldn't float, um, you know, nose side down as much, which was a good thing, but she wouldn't right side up either. Um, just like completely on her side and not even like doing the big gasps. Like sometimes it looked like she was hardly breathing. I would have to like agitate the water or, you know, like tap her or bump her or something like that for her to, to move, to do anything. And then came and to do the water change and you know for lack of a better term she was just belly up and like the it looked literally like something I don't know how to describe it, it looked like like the fungus part was shedding and it looked like her body was like bleeding like there was no blood in the water but there was just red and it wasn't ammonia burn, like, like, it looked like blood, you know, under the scales or something like that, or like internal bleeding or something like that. And it just didn't work out. And I think in my mind, I kind of prepared myself. 
but not really, you know. Now I have to explain. I did tell my little one, you know, that one of the fish were sick and that, you know, if she didn't get better, you know, we weren't going to be able to keep her. So, deal, like, I got to deal with that this afternoon. But, um, yeah. This kind of sucks, so. I don't know. I don't know. We're just gonna have to see now, I guess. And hope for the best with this one. I mean, the activity level on this little fantail hasn't really dwindled much. There was like a couple of days in there where you know it did like the whole fin clamping and things like that, but that was um, alleviated, you know, soon after a tank clean. So I think that was just like ammonia spike, and whatnot. I did put bacteria starter in here, um, the fritz, just to kind of give it some help. And I actually have to do some maintenance on my 55 gallon uh, across the way over there. So I have to do something with that. I'm gonna take one of the extra sponges that I had in that filter basket, rinse it out really well, and put it in here just to help if I can. And yeah about it you guys mm, not much else to say it's kind of sad so alrighty hope everyone has a wonderful weekend um, thank you Chris I saw your comment um, that you made today um, it, it was just too late honestly like it, it was like 48 hours too late <laughs> so it's okay I don't know, I think if I had done, like I said, I think if I had started, started off with salt, that would have been a better outcome, possibly, you know, maybe. But it is what it is, right? Um, gotta keep on from this. This is why I don't have like a house full of pets, because see, I get attached. I get attached. You love something, you care for it, and you try to do what you can do to make sure that it's well, safe, and healthy. Um, yeah, but right now, we'll focus on what we do have. And this one is gorgeous little boy. I'm pretty sure it's a male. It's got a little bit of, like, thin rot. But I think that was just due to the whole stress of everything that was going on. You know, we'll see how he fares. Prayerfully, so I think he'll do well. He made it through all of that. Um, I just hope he doesn't get lonely in here. Uh, we'll see. All right, this is I think the longest video I've ever had to do. So you guys take it easy. All right, bye bye.